Hello everyone and welcome back to some Satisfactory here on the channel. Look at this sea of material that is now flowing into my factory. We are doing great work here on this planet, transforming it into a hazardous wasteland. And what we're going to do today is make that a little bit more efficient. I have a couple plans for today's episode. A, we're going to clean this mess up. Yep, going to work on a few things to try to make this a little bit better looking out here. As you can see, I've kind of cleared all of this out. Uh, and we are going to work on getting the quartz line to come in here. That way we can start working on windows. That's going to be something we're going to work on for this episode. As well as uh, making our machines in here and our factory just a bit more efficient than what it already is. So that is our plan. That is our goals for today's episode. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's jump inside the factory to see what we're working at first. Inside the belly of the bees, just, just look at all these machines flowing and doing their job perfectly in sync with one another okay well they're not perfectly in sync but you get the idea they're working they're doing a job they're doing something that they are meant to be doing and it is working in wonderful harmony all together to do that job and with these new catwalks and stuff i've installed in here this just looks this looks really good i really really like this i, I don't know why there's no railing here uh, don't call OSHA. It's fine. Uh, and then once we get the glass panels and stuff in here, this is going to look even better. I'm also planning on maybe trying to light this up a little bit too. Uh, if you guys caught the live stream, I worked on getting tickets. I worked on uh, working on getting some different kinds of recipes by finding hard drives, a few other things. You guys probably already caught a glimpse on the inside of the factory here, what it looks like, and working on these catwalks and stuff too. Just basically making it a little bit easier to get up and down through the factory without the hyper tubes that we will probably try to get those done today as well. Uh, yeah, but this is, this is just the first layer, but I just really kind of wanted to show this off because I love how this looks. This is, this is great, and it's only going to get even better. All right, so let's move up one more floor here. All right, now this floor here, this is where the mess is. This is these machines are not efficient at all, and I blame myself. I, I am I'm ashamed to say I blame myself for this mess. Uh, but it worked to kind of get started, and now that we're getting things in here a little bit better, we're starting to get things flowing. We need to make this mess. We need to clean it up. We need to get these machines much more efficient. So what we're going to do today is work on that. So one of the first things I'm going to do is we're going to raise this up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of these boxes here, and we're going to make two layers of the assemblers here. Uh, that, that's the plan. So what we're going to do is take this. We're going to put that like, I don't know, maybe, maybe right there. Yeah, I think right there. Let's zoop that across through here like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, and then what we're going to do from there is we're going to clear out all of this stuff in here and just basically, uh, I mean, we're going to erase it all pretty much and start over anew. All righty, so I have now done a ton of reworking on a bunch of stuff. Also, a bunch of painting as well, as you can see. I've repainted all these rails to be kind of a grayish color for the rails with the... Uh, Kind of yellowish orange links in between them uh the machines here are all pretty much black and red as for the conveyor belts as well Ooh, i missed one uh okay well i get that well i get it now actually since i'm seeing it and looking right at it might as well do that there we go all right yeah so there we go i got all of those and i've got our steel production going everything is working really well here now so everything's looking pretty good and let's go a couple floors oh also i've redone the stairways going up in here and yes I realized I have a cable going through that I will fix that later but if we go up a few floors here here we go now we have the floor with the assemblers and as you can see I've painted these as well everything is looking really good I think uh, I'm pretty happy with these colors I don't know if I'm gonna keep these in here like this I might redo them just all the same colors here or something I, I don't know yet on that but over here I have jump in here i have uh reinforced iron plates being worked over they were oh shoot i need to redo all the power for that okay so i'm gonna have to redo all the power on that but i'll, I'll fix that before we go but reinforced plates being made in these two red assemblers here and then over here i have i'm pretty sure rotors yeah i've got rotors being made down here on these two things so those are going up and then we come up here and I also have rotors being made up here. You know what? I need to change that out. I don't really want rotors being made up here as well. Why do I have rotors being made everywhere? 
I don't need that many rotors. Uh, huh. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. I'll, I'll have to fix that too. Um, I need a catwalk to kind of go around this way so I can get in and out around these machines here. But, as you can see, we go over here. And on this side, I have the modular frames using an alternate recipe here using the bolted frames. So we got screws and reinforced plates coming in. And all of this, as you can see, is done excellently with all these machines and stuff coming up through here. So I have gotten rid of the boxes that you saw that were on the previous level here and just kind of completely redone all of this. So where did all the materials and stuff go to? So when this, once they get made, what happens to them then? <laughs> well, let me show you a spaghetti mess that I have hidden back in here. So I had all this extra space back here behind this wall on this floor. So I thought, you know what? What an excellent place to put all of our stuff. So I'm just going to take a wall out here. There we go. And uh, I am going to completely redo like all of this eventually. Oh, I fell all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> all right. So I've got the boxes behind this wall here. Let me squeeze through here. All of the material comes in through here, right? And it's all backed up a little bit too. I did have a machine. As you can see, I've got kind of a thing going out here but when I redid it I had to get rid of our trash compactor so that needs to be re-added back in uh, but all of these are coming through here they get to right here and they come in and then they go into these and these smart splitters will separate them into different boxes and then those boxes I know this is kind of hard to see from kind of where I'm at but if I can get just I can probably get right here uh, but yeah as you can see they kind of go this way down through here up a vertical conveyor belt back across through here all these are sorting into the different boxes and then you come back here and they're taken from these boxes and put up and this huge spaghetti mess that I have back here, which uh, which then puts it to the machines I have upstairs, which I am going to fix this much better. I really, really am. Uh, that's going to be something maybe for a live stream one day. Maybe I can refix these. But for now, it's working, and that's the most important part. Um, I do have to get our trash compactor working again, back down to the sink, so that way any extras that can't be filled is now going into the sink and getting his tickets. So I will have to fix that during this next little break here before the next part of the video. Um, and then all of that stuff is coming over here. So as you can see, I've got reinforced plates, stators, rotors. I've got a bunch of rotors. I have way too many rotors being made. That's got to be fixed. So I'll work on that. But yeah, I've got a huge mess back here to clean up and I will do that another time. But the most part, is that everything is working uh, if I can get out of here yeah, there we go and yeah so I think this is looking pretty smooth uh, as far as like the main section that everybody can actually see I think it looks pretty nice so especially once I get the windows and stuff in here I get some lighting and things done in here I believe this will look pretty cool well at least I hope so still gotta fix the electric as well down here on these bottom parts uh, but yeah and then now the next section I'm probably going to work on is this next part up here so if we keep going up a floor you can see I have a floor here so we're gonna put some more assemblers up here which are going to be making um, some other things that we're going to be needing so I will get working on those and I will see you in a moment all right, I am back again and I have been doing even more fantastic work here in the factory I have got Everything kind of working now. I've got the power turned back on to the machines that uh, we lost power to because of my simple mistake. Uh, that is fixed. We have this working a little better. I was able to make a kind of a platform, a catwalk that runs across through here. So I can kind of look at all the machines back here. And I do know that the one thing I haven't done yet is I haven't fixed these two machines here. So these two machines are working on making the modular frames and I'm using the alternate recipe for that. But I don't have them connected into that wall yet because I wanted to show how I actually was able to do this and accomplish this over here and make this work. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of show you one of my one of my build tricks. Oops, I fell down. I fell down and go boom. Uh, ooh, 
Okay. I haven't made a thing up there yet. All right, I have to go all the way over here. Uh, that's what I get for jumping around. So anyway, what we're going to do is recreate kind of what I've done there on this side over here. And I'll, I'll show you how I do this little trick here. So first of all, what I do is I build a platform out like so. And then I'm going to come over here and we're going to build these up one and turn it facing over this way like so. Yep. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing here. Now, this middle one, this is the trick. So, what I do is I take a box and I put it right there where I need to put it. Which should be right there. And then I build one. And I build a second one. And then this one right here, this third one, since this is going to be a merger, I make sure that I have it on the merger. I point it the direction I want because you got to watch when you're doing these, when you're stacking these. I always got to make sure of those. And then I connect that together like so. And then I delete the other two boxes. And there we have it. Bob's your uncle. Paint that right there. And I'll go ahead and paint that right over here too. And the conveyor belts. And there we go. Now, we're going to come over here. And here's how I connected this so over here to this. So I'm going to go down until I find, let's see, uh, let's see, oh, there we go, seven for that right there. And let's see, I think I put it in one to there and it should come up two spots. There we go. We connect that to that. I delete the pole. I add a vertical conveyor belt to that, turn it so it's facing the wall. And then connect to the wall. There we go. And we'll paint those for good measure as well. And we are done with that. Now the modular frames are going into the machines upstairs. Let's go check those machines out upstairs here real quick. And I can show you what I'm doing upstairs with the next part. Have a drink of my coffee, that my never-ending cup. All right, I'm going to walk up here. All right. Now, up here, I had a bit of trouble trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do on this floor. It wasn't necessarily as big as the other floors. Um, I don't have enough space coming back this way. So rather than the rebuild the entire factory from the beginning, I decided, you know what? We're going to need cables. Let's make some cables. So I put some machines down here. All these are taking the excess... Um, wire that we are making uh just a little bit here at a time and they are taking that and they are making some awesome cable for us which is fantastic and that cable doesn't go anywhere just yet uh but it will eventually and then we'll head up to the next floor up here and up up we go all right and then here we have all these machines right here now what these machines are making they're making my versatile frameworks that I'm going to need. And then the cables are going to make the automated wiring once I get those done too. So oh, as you can see here, they are already spinning that into where I need it to go. Look at that. One, two, three. Oh, we got a bunch over here too. So in order to make this work, I had to kind of fidget a little bit and, and make it not exactly the same as the other floors. So uh this one since we don't have a hole in the wall on the side or in the middle and i didn't want to really you know do anything oddball here what i decided to do was just have these come in here and then i will combine these in the middle and take them up from there so they're just kind of merged behind the wall and here we have yeah this is pretty much uh that's pretty much the gist of it right here now we got our machines making our versatile frameworks which we're going to need 500 of and then i just need a machine next time make an automated wiring which we will get and yeah it, it's it's definitely doing its job so at this point the next thing i wanted to do today was i wanted to get some silica going and that way we can actually create the windows and stuff and actually get this factory looking pretty good get some daylight in here when it's daylight out anyway which most of the time I'm used to building in the dark. 
But I think this looks pretty good. I think I was able to accomplish uh, something. I'm not sure about those those black and red with those down. I'm probably gonna repaint those machines down there from blue to something else. I, I don't know what yet. Probably just keep the same color scheme I'm going with here with this black and red on these for the most part. But yeah, um, everything is coming together pretty good. I still have a couple more floors. Um, it's gonna be going upwards, which I think what I'm gonna do on this one, I think I'm gonna change the factory from here up. And I think I'm gonna raise these. I'm gonna just kind of raise this roof just a little bit right here. Possibly, I don't know yet, but I'm not sure I like it kind of real close to me right there. I think I'd rather have it go like one more up and make the entire thing bigger, which will probably give me more space on that next floor there as as well i think anyway i'm not 100 sure but it might uh but yeah let's get that silica line going all right so for our quartz line which is going to be making our silica what i'm going to do is basically bring it over here and just kind of get it going real quick so i'm just going to use this leftover platform over here that way we can just kind of get it started today and then we can get the windows and stuff into our factory uh but one of my main goals today was to try to clean all this area up, which I don't think I'm going to get to. So that's probably going to be for the next episode. We're probably going to make like a little distribution center here that sends everything over to that side. Um, I have kind of an idea in my head of what I want to do here. But yeah, just with the silica right now, bringing it into the factory and making a spot for it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just hold off on that and make that on the other side over there for that part of the factory. This, though, we are just going to bring it in. I, like I said, I'm pretty sure way far north over there is a quartz node. A couple of quartz nodes, actually. And I'm going to bring all of that all the way over this direction. And then just put a temporary silica factory right there on that platform. So let me run all the way north there. Find those nodes, which, you know, I'm pretty sure they are over there. Uh, I think that's the closest one. Let's find out. All right, my little radar. Where are you at? Thirteen sixty-four, eleven thirty-one. Aha, fifteen seventy-five. Ooh, that's even further away, actually, than bringing it in over that way. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, now I have a choice. Uh. I'm going to go look at these ones over here and see where these two nodes are and then figure that out. But I'm pretty sure I'm still going to use that one over to the north there. So let's let's go see what we got over there. All right. So I ran all the way over here to check out where these nodes are for the quartz over here to the south. And you know what? I'm thinking this is actually probably a better spot. We've got not one, not two. We've got three normal nodes over here of course i think i'm only going to need one of these right now at the moment with a mark ii miner but as you can see it should be just pretty much a straight shot right over to our factory and it shouldn't be too hard to do so i'm just going to run some power run some conveyor belts i'm going to plop down a mark ii miner right here on this one there we go get on there and there we go right there all right, that should work. Now I just gotta run the conveyor belts, power, everything else, like I said, and then we will be getting silica done and we can install those windows. Okay, so now I have the power ran all the way up here. I have the conveyor belt ran all the way up here. Last thing to do is just connect it. Boom, and there we go. Now we are digging, getting some quartz. How much are we getting here? 120 per minute. Those little pink crystals are going to do us well. Hopefully we can get enough silica out of this and uh, actually get this thing going and get these windows done. All right, so now they're going to be traveling, as you can see, down what I call the Crystal Highway, heading all the way back to our factory over there. That is a, it's a long way to travel. Probably the longest belt I've ran just yet, but uh, definitely won't be the last one I've ran this long. Also, while I was coming over here, I actually found a couple of things. There's a geyser system, like right there, which will be perfect for some power later on. And I'm pretty sure I found another crash site, I think right there. So yeah, definitely something for our next live video we do. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's head back over here and get some silica being made. All right, it did take a few minutes, but the quartz has finally arrived and we are putting it into a splitter. We've got one constructor over here making silica. The other one is making just regular quartz crystal. 
So yeah, rock quartz into quartz crystals, rock quartz into silica. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. This is quite nice. Yeah, it's making five every few minutes. Uh, we could maybe kind of double that. Let's see if how's the efficiency is on this. 98%. Can we get it to 100? Uh, yes, we can. Uh, what about this one over here? Quartz crystals, not even. I'm not so worried about the quartz crystal as much as I am this right here. All right, now we're just gonna need. Uh, let's do. Let's see, a couple of boxes. Uh, let's do a. Let's do one large storage container over here. There we go. And one large storage container over here. In you go. And in you go. Fantastic. All right. Now, where are you not throwing it in here? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't really make it as fast as this one over here is, are you? Uh, well, actually, this one just had a lot more built up. What if I throw another one in there? Can you make it faster? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of silica, so we're doing 75 per minute. What if we do three? Can you keep up with that? Oh, yeah, the efficiency is quite nice here. We're making 93.75 silica a minute. And then over here, uh, again, I'm not so worried about the quartz, but we'll go ahead and just, like, put one in that one there. And there we have it. Now we have a quartz line. A temporary quartz line anyway eventually I am going to have it go into our factory which is going to be like I said it's not just this one tower we're gonna to have another tower and then we're gonna put more over here this is gonna look like a really cool area once I'm done I just got a lot more work to do so wow well, with that done uh, I think I got some tickets and I'm probably gonna use those tickets and I'm gonna buy some windows and figure out what this is gonna look like from there so yeah next step forward Okay, finally, it has taken me seven episodes to get this far, but I am really liking this. Yes, uh, so we got the windows that I wanted. I decided to go with the beehive looking one, the honeycomb kind of windows there in the front. I'm probably going to repaint the roofs maybe a different color. I'm not sure what just yet. I was kind of thinking maybe a, maybe a blue or a black. Not 100% sure yet on that. Uh, also, yeah, uh, this is looking pretty good, I think. It looks really cool from the inside as well when you're looking out over top of things with the glass and everything. Uh, but, yeah, this this is finally done. Seven episodes later, we we finally got glass. We finally got the silica coming in. Uh, a couple things I didn't get to do. I was going to try to clean this up, like I said earlier, and like get rid of kind of all of this bit of a mess I've made down here and do kind of a hub area. So I think maybe next episode is going to be the hub. Um, we also will finish up phase two so we can get uh, the next two tiers as well and, and kind of start working towards those. I've got all of the versatile frameworks and all the smart play I need. I just got to get the, uh, the actual automated wire done up there, which I only need a hundred of that. So that shouldn't take too long to get that done. But this is looking fantastic. Um, going to do I've been kind of thinking about how the rest of this is going to look so we're going to build like another area right over here on top of this and then a connector in between the two buildings right here and that will be Caterium in this area probably as well as making the quartz and stuff up in that area too uh, that will be pretty good might I was gonna put the space elevator on top of the co factory up there but I think we may put it up on top of the Caterium factory actually yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, don't really know just yet, but we're also going to move the general hub right here. We're going to put that up on the top floor as well and get some hyper tubes and stuff going too. Speaking of that, you know what? I think I can finally actually do this. I think I think I have enough to do the hyper tubes. Do I have enough? Let's see. Uh-huh. Uh, uh uh-huh. Uh-huh. And yes. Boom! All right, finally, now we got the hypertubes done. So that's something else we can kind of work on in the future as well. 
That just leaves vehicular transport to go, which I'll go ahead and select that as my next milestone. Don't really need that, but it should be kind of good to have. We, we might be able to use it. But yeah, that's going to be the next episode. We will finish up with the hub, the central hub, where all the materials are kind of coming in here and going over to the area over there. And then we will work on finishing phase two, and that will be episode eight. In the meantime, I appreciate everyone who's been watching. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video, wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.